Hey, so I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching and sharing Johnny's journey over the last uh, seven years. It's been an incredible privilege to work on this show. Um, it's been an incredible joy to get really strong feedback because, you know, the characters had some big stories, really, and I hope that we've had some fun. Uh, I just want to say thank you and goodbye, and please watch out for whatever it is I do next. I'm moving to Indonesia. It's the end of an era. Um, I'm actually feeling great, really good. It's been a fantastic experience to 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 close. Uh, well, seven. I say seven years. It's six and uh, quite a bit, but uh, seven sounds better. So, and it's wrapping up so many things. And it was, you know, really, it was just such an exciting uh, stunt to be involved in the story. It's a complete story in itself. So, I'm feeling good. Get back, it's not safe. I don't care. We're gonna help her. We can't leave her down there. Oh, fine, well, let me go then. No. Look, I'm younger than you, I'm bitter, I'm sorry, but it's true. I love her. Please, let me do this. I noticed that I was going to die. <laughs> so that was a slight shock. Um, but the story and the whole event was just so impressive and exciting that I, I got completely buzzed up by it, really. And, um, and, the, and the execution of it, the performing of it was fantastic. The whole experience was just an incredible way to finish off my time at Cory and an incredible exit, really. I couldn't have asked for, for, for better, you know. It, it was a full-on experience, um, kind of from a standing start, because I hadn't done a lot through this year. Uh, I guess they'd been sort of holding it back a bit. So from a slight standing start to, to, to really full-on, you know, kind of acting, very physical. The water wasn't cold, actually. Um, it, it was heated a little bit. It's the completion of a story, and we, all the way through this, we talked, because soap always tries to split you up, you know, or, or gives you troubles. I mean, it's just the nature of, of the game, really, uh, of, the, of the way the shows work. And um, we had this idea about swans, really, um, staying together for life. And we always, you know, so however much the kind of cord would stretch, we try and always bounce it back together in some way. Obviously, this time, this is the end, which, you know, for, for an actor, really, actually, it's great to have an ending. It, it makes sense of everything for me. And I don't think you can get a great love story without somebody dying. And unfortunately, it was me. <laughs> but so it was very satisfying in, in those kind of terms. Um, and I think that for Johnny's complete journey, because he's been through an awful lot in the seven years. Firstly, I think the seven years is, is a good chunk of time to see a complete story in. Um, and he's, he's had quite a lot of tough times in it. For me, it's a very deep way of exploring love, because I know when I talked to Ian, the producer, about this, and I said I want him to die with love on his lips, really. That's all I know. And they came up with something that I... I think it uh, really reflects that. Dad. Please, Johnny, please. You just need to hold on. Johnny, please. My first day on the cobbles was... It's quite overwhelming in many ways, you know, and um, 
You know, I started with Shane and Faye, and we were all, you know, and both of those two have gone. Uh, so we did those stories together. So we've had a short and really powerful kind of journey through it as a family. Um, and uh, it was obviously exciting. I think one of the things about Coronation Street is, is you know, it, 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 part of what Soap's doing is exploring the ordinary, and some of it is extraordinary. I mean, we look at people's lives through the prism of Coronation Street, really. It isn't all real, real. It's the prism of something, and you kind of shine a line on it, and it bounces out and tells its stories and the consequences, and that's kind of what, what's fascinating about it as a, as a form, really. Um, but and on, a, on a daily basis, it can become quite ordinary. Um, and then maybe I'll show someone around the set, and you go, this is, this is not ordinary, this is an extraordinary experience. This is the biggest doll's house in the world, I think, <laughs> where people play in it every day. Um, and so you bounce between the ordinary and the extraordinary all, all the time, in a way. I mean, I, you know, I spent two years in the pub where I didn't do an awful lot. I was up down to the cellar a bit and so on and pulling a few pints. But these legends keep coming in, you know. I, I mean, I'm part, I've been part of Coronation Street, but I'm also, I'm also a, a, a viewer, I'm also a fan, and I'm also, you know, an actor uh, uh, who... It's, it's, these people are legends, everybody. Possibly Johnny is, in a sense, I don't know. Oh, I see. Oh, well, don't mind me. I'll just read the magazine. Was Underworld, did Underworld suit Johnny Connor more than the, the Rovers? I don't know, really. Uh, he certainly died in the Underworld. <laughs> um, I think when I went in, what, what happens is, in Underworld, you've got quite a strong archetype of uh, a rich man, a powerful man, a suited man. You're having a laugh. You're the one having a laugh? Robbing us blind with one hand and then giving with the other? I am perfectly within my rights to withhold your pay. And we're perfectly within our rights to withhold our labour. You're taking their side. Look, Mr Connor, we do accept we were in the wrong. Well, that's big of you. But this isn't about the money now. And that's quite in a way easy to inhabit. It was also huge fun. You know, I was punched with knickers falling all over me and also, also these iconic moments that you get in Coronation Street. We said stay away from us. You gotta believe me. I loved your mother. Whatever happened, however it looked. That's enough, Aiden. Yeah, leave it now. Not until hate is out of my sight. Stop acting like a backstreet thug, will you? Lots of those. I loved working in the factory. I, in the pub, I, it was different, it's different. It's kind of more of a matriarchal uh, place. It's where the women traditionally are very strong. Um, and I thought we worked really well together. I think it, all in all, I just feel that I've done a perfect round. I mean, I'm so privileged. I ran Underworld and I, um, you know, was the landlord of the Rover's return. And I've had the most spectacular, wonderful exit, which for me is a perfect round and probably the right time to go. <laughs> My favourite storylines, I don't know. I think, you know, I'm now I view it as the whole journey, I suppose. Um, the aid and suicide was incredibly tough to work on. Um, I think had a huge effect out there, value. It created some value. Uh, but it was very tough to work on. The wedding, of course, was huge fun to work on. Um, he's been ill, MS, he's had visual impairment. Um, they're deep things to work on, really. Um, I thought I'd have more comedy, I have to say, the whole, the whole time. But it's in there and it's threaded through. So I don't really have a favourite storyline in that sense. I think for now that we've got this, it's, it's the whole journey. It's the whole journey of someone. Um, you know, I came in... <laughs> I came in to discover... You know, not to discover, I knew, but it was discovered that Carla was my secret daughter. OK, listen. No way. OK. I'm, I'm your dad. Carla. I'm your dad. 
and the events behind that, I, as an actor, I kind of thought, OK, so that's it. This guy has got rid of his big secret, and now we're exploring someone who is free. But of course, it's soap, so they keep coming up with other, other secrets from the past that I somehow have to incorporate. And that's been fun. But fundamentally, you know, and this is important to me, um, Johnny's journey has been a journey of mental health. And that's what I'm very interested in, personally, for all sorts of reasons. Um, and I think that that's, you know, how he's dealt with that, how you hide away from your secrets, how you try and transform yourself into something, how you try to be, how you try to reinvent yourself, to set yourself on a different path, has been um, his story. And I, I'm really proud of it, actually. I think we've all done well together. <laughs>